What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How you guys doing? Welcome. It's Dub and the Dub Household. Um, so, first thing, I'm back. So, uh, just in case you didn't know, I have been working a job that I've been working about 60 hours a week. It's been really tough. It's actually really not by my house by any means. I actually drove about an hour every day to work. And uh, it was really tough. It really hurt my sleeping schedule. Like, I was sleeping a lot. I didn't really have time to play games. I didn't have time to record at all. That's why the past four weeks I've been putting really anything up. But I finished my contract yesterday. And, uh, yeah, so now we're going back to games. But anyways, guys, so this is Friday, June 28th. Yes, June 28th. Um... I know I haven't, the last past two weeks I haven't been doing Funday Mondays, I think actually three weeks maybe. But, uh, so what this is going to be is this is going to be a kind of a vlog, I'm back, don't worry, Funday Monday, the goal is to be back on schedule starting this week, but, uh, this episode right here, we're going to go in Fade Away, um, Sorry, guys, I still have that nose problem that I had. Like, I know I looked like a week ago or something like that, I did a video, and I was, like, really congested. Still having that problem. So if I uh, pause, if you, like, see a pause or something, you know, give me a break. I just got to blow my nose. Dude's got to blow his nose, you know, man? But uh, anyways, um, today, this morning, Black Ops 2 had an update uh, for the PS3, and this is the main part. You can see I have a whole bunch of trophies down here that... Uh, didn't have before, so for some reason, it's the, the sorry guys, the DLC isn't even out on Xbox Live yet. Um, this is the Barry DLC trophy pack, but for some reason they gave it to PS3. So this gives us a preview of like what's to come. So the very first one, this is actually the only silver trophy of all of them. Mind the games and Barry be their pawn. So this tells me this is the Easter egg trophy. Be their pawn, you know, that I don't think that's a chess reference. I think that's much more of like a, a pawn, like a little minion kind of thing. So you're listening to the voices maybe that was in Stu Leader's head. And in Buried, you're being their pawn. You're starting to actually do their work now. Uh, mind, I think mind isn't like a mind, like a battlefield kind of mind thing. I think it's mind like there's mind shafts. So, and later you'll see there's actually a maze. So I think it's actually a maze of mind shafts that have to do with the main Easter egg. Just my thought... You know, whatever it actually is, who freaking knows? I mean, I know Tuesday I will be up early to watch Next Gen Tactics, do the live stream of Buried. Uh, they're just going to be playing it for fun for a while, then they're going to start doing the trophies. So, I know I'll be looking forward to that. Uh, this next one, Ectoplasmic Residue in Buried, acquire a perk for free. So, obviously, Ectoplasmic Residue, that'd be like a... Uh, a ghost reference, uh, some, something like that. So, obviously, in Mob of the Dead, we had Afterlife. And you were the ghost flying around and shit like that. Now, I do not think that they're going to bring Afterlife back. You know, everybody knows that Mob of the Dead was not designed by the actual zombie cre the zombie people. They're, Mob of the Dead, that whole map and everything was designed by the people that did, uh, <coughs> sorry, uh, by the people that did the campaign. So it was different, you know, even like the HUD was different. Everything was different about Barry, or, uh, sorry, Mob of the Dead. So, uh, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, like, it's going to be... It's not going to be Afterlife. It has to be something with a ghost. Obviously, ectoplasmic residue. But, you know, in Afterlife, you did power up everything. So maybe they have a different variation of kind of Afterlife. Maybe, like, when you go down, you have 10 seconds to fly around and get stuff. I mean, who knows? All right, guys. Like I said, sorry. If you see a fadeaway, uh, it's probably going to blow my nose. It's just kind of how it is. It sucks. I've been dealing with this for the past like four weeks, guys, so you gotta give me a break. This ain't easy. Um, so the next one. I'm your Huckleberry. And buried access all areas with the help of your new friend in one game. So right off the bat you see Huckleberry, you you might want to think Huckleberry Finn. Um I don't think so. Uh Huckleberry Finn was not is not related to Wild West. And that's kinda why I'm getting the feel of this one. I'm thinking like like I said in, in a previous video, like Yuma. Yuma, Arizona kind of thing. Um, and Huckleberry Finn had no affiliation. Now, what I do think, um, back in the Wild West and stuff, a term for, like, 
a woman or like you're a, would be a huckleberry. So I'm your huckleberry. So you're really helping me out kind of thing. Like that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking with your new friend, which is obviously the freaking giant. Maybe, you know, I'm your huckleberry would be like kind of, I mean, I don't, I don't really know how to put it, I guess, but I'm thinking like when they used to say like, I'm your huckleberry, like a girl would be a guy's huckleberry kind of thing. And it's just kind of, I don't know if it's really a joke, but it's just kind of a thing they said. So in my mind, like I'm your huckleberry, that would be just the guy helping you out. And with the help of your new friend, you're opening a new area. So just like, I'm your huckleberry, I'm dead of you, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Shitty explanation, but that's just kind of my thought. Death from below, and Barry dropped the beat on ten zombies in one game. So obviously Skrillex is coming back, and uh, he's going to drop a DJ system on top of ten zombies, and uh, pretty self-explanatory. I mean, there's, so that tells me in Barry, there's not going to be Wild West music, it's going to be just Skrillex dropping the beat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I just That's kind of funny, drop the beat on ten zombies in one game. So... Beat has got to be every time. I, oh, look, we'll go above. Um, ten zombies with a new beverage. And I'm pretty sure, like, every single time there's been a new. Uh, where was it on this one? Uh, oh, Revive Yourself. Every time there's a there's a trophy relating to a new perk. Um, this one, uh, this is. Uh, Required Humestone. See? So, in my mind, I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, so that's got to be a new perk. That is the new perk. Uh, we saw in the last video, it was the little tombstone picture, uh, or it looked like a coffin, sorry. So, maybe it's a jukebox kind of thing. We do, remember, in Shangri-La, there were the sound zombies, so maybe Drop the Beat's a sound reference in the perk, like, when you do something, you, let's say, when you go prone, it does a bass drop. You know, when you just go, when you dive to prone, instead of having, like, the Dr. Flopper explosion, you land, and it's like, boom, and there's, like, a base, like, a base earthquake. And it gives you, I don't know, I think, I mean, drop, when I think drop, you know, if it, if this is the perk one, drop, the only way you can drop is if you, like, fall and land, or if you dive to prone or go prone. And then beat, obviously, related to music. Uh, who knows? Um, candy jam and buried make a candy delivery. So in the replacer, the new replacers trophy, they show like if you get candy to the guy, he becomes your friend. So I assume that's all it is. Candy must be like an item you can find across the map to make the new uh, go on your be on your side to help you with the huckleberry maybe. But uh, so you just give him candy. You pick up you pick it up like it's a part somewhere and you give it back to him. So that, I mean that's what I'm thinking. That, that's a pretty simple one in my mind. Um, in buried pack a punch a weapon during round one with. No one using the bank or weapon locker. Um, first off, this does, this does tell me that uh, guaranteed there is a bank and a weapon locker in Barry, which is awesome. Well, kind of awesome. Um, kind of makes it a little OP, but hey, still cool. Excuse me. Um, but in Barry, pack a punch a weapon during round one. That is crazy. Um, who, maybe there's like the Galva Knuckles thing. Like we saw before in transit, there's Galva Knuckles you can transfer money across. Jeez. Um, you can transfer money across. It's gotta be something like that because 5,000 points in one game, like even on Moon, you can only get like two, 3,000 points before it started. And I mean, no way in hell on Moon could you get 5,000. Plus, keep in mind, you'd have to be able to get to Pack-A-Punch um, in round one. So, who, that's fucking crazy. So, I mean, that's not only getting enough points to get to use Pack-A-Punch, but, but to be able to get to Pack-A-Punch in time also. Alright, Revisionist Historian and Buried Rewrite History. Um, wow, that's kind of weird. Um, you know, this obviously, this obviously looks like a end of... Easter egg type of trophy, but it's not, it's just a bronze. See, it's just a bronze. So it's got to be a beginning of Easter egg trophy. Like previously, you, you could see it, you know, feeding the dogs was part of the Easter egg, you know, doing stuff like that. So this has got to be a beginning of Easter egg trophy. 
Maze and Confused and Buried survive an entire round within the maze on round 20 or higher. So I'm going to go with this, Mazed and Confused, and I'm going to link that up with Mind Games. Um, mind Shafts kind of thing. Um, that's... I'm going to link them together. I'm thinking Mind Shafts making a maze... Uh, but the thing that get, blows my mind is round 20 or higher, an entire round. You know, previously there uh, in the last DLC pack there's GG Bridge, which is right here, survive an entire round on 15 or higher. So they're up in the ante a little bit and saying, hey, round 20 or higher now, and it's a maze. You know, the the bridge was actually pretty easy to do on round 15 or higher. In fact, actually my highest round, which was 45, I probably spent 30 of the 45 rounds on the bridge just training. So I'm looking at this, I'm like, wow, that's, uh, and, and just the concept of a maze makes me think it's going to be a lot harder than the bridge, but who knows, so I mean, I'm liking that one, I'm thinking that's going to be a fun challenge to try to do. F-cert against the wall, and Barry purchased the L-set off the wall and pack-a-punch it, boom, baby, alright, so, the last time we had a good weapon on the wall, like a good LMG on the wall, Frick, what, uh, Call of the Dead, you had the MP40 on the wall? Here we go, I think this might be the first legitimate, like, LMG you can buy on the wall and pack a punch it. So there we go, guys. This is gonna be kinda cool, um, but I have a feeling it's be kinda far away, <laughs> because the, L the LSAT's pretty freaking good, so I don't think they'd give it to you right off the bat, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was like 2500 to buy it, if not more. And when the revolution comes, in buried return to processing. That tells me it is an, there's another map ending. Um, when the revolution comes, in buried return to processing. Like return, like what was what was the other one? Mom and Dead break the cycle. Um, in buried return to processing. That just seems like there's an end game. So uh, I mean I don't know. These these trophies are really cool. It actually gives us a kind of a cool idea of what's to come. Um, one other thing I'm going to say with, where is it, uh, this one, no one using a bank or weapon, or weapon locker, um, there's actually another thing in this update that they actually added a bank and weapon locker to Die Rise, which I'm going to do another video about that today, like, today I want to put out three or four videos, I'm super stoked, I haven't put videos out for a while, so this is just going to be the first one I put up, guys. Um, but I am going to show you guys where the bank and weapon locker is in Die Rise. And so it looks like they're starting to add them in every one, which is awesome. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways, guys, that's kind of my ideas of these ten trophies. Um, I'm excited for Buried. Um, it's kind of depressing. Obviously, Xbox gets it first. So they get it next week. We don't get it for five weeks, more than likely. So I'm looking at these trophies, I'm going to be like, damn it, I want them. But, uh, you know, we got to live with it, you know. Got to live with it. Hey, it doesn't matter. I know. I, I know. I'm still awesome. And I, I love zombies. But I'm really excited for Buried because, you know, honestly, Mob of the Dead is kind of easy, kind of boring. Like, I get round 40s really easy on it. So I'm just kind of like, yeah, whatever, boy. <laughs> but anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. This is just my little woo video. Uh, like I said, guys, I'm going to be having a couple more videos put up just today. So, you know, like them, watch them all, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, guys. Trust me. Give me a few days to get all these freaking, all this sagebrush allergy and shit out of me. It's going to be so much better. So much better, I promise. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, peace out.